I think when this initiative first started uh, 10 years ago, uh, green chemistry was limited to uh, the academic world and certain uh, consultants. At that point, people were just starting to get into it, and I think we've come a long way in the past 10 years. And I think some of the, uh, the educational components are really important now. More and more students are involved in this and uh, they are the future of green chemistry uh, and engineering. The round table has really uh, brought that idea of green chemistry uh, into the universities and therefore into the future uh, workforce that our companies will depend on. Every year as many as 10,000 new chemicals are designed and invented. We still have a disproportionate impact that's coming directly from chemical exposures. Uh, now I think there's a much broader understanding of green chemistry as being a, a key principle of uh, designing uh, safer substances, designing more sustainable substances. And in fact, industry, many of the companies that we represent, have really embraced this and made it central to their uh, mission so that green chemistry is not just a small niche of the industry, but rather uh, an important principle and something that's central to all the work that they do. For me, the promise of green chemistry is a world where I know that any consumer product I use, I can have it released into the streams nearby without fear. And anyone working to create those products is also safe. All of these things can be addressed through green chemistry. In uh, 2009, they started a green chemistry conference and uh, it became more popular among uh, the general public. Uh, this roundtable has instituted uh, the Governor Awards for Green Chemistry and so far we have uh, recognized uh, 15 to 20 groups. I think that is very significant contribution from the roundtable. The prizes, the competition, the idea of really trying to be the best at coming up with green chemistry ideas, I really enjoyed being part of that. We really need to heighten the awareness of alternatives. Pay special attention to this area so that uh, more jobs will be created to move the economy of not only the state of Michigan, but uh, our, our entire country and the globe.